Hi everyone, Anat Kessler here with a new video tutorial and today we're going to make this easy and fun never-ending card in a new technique that is much easier than the one that you might know. So you need to take a paper that is a square, an accurate square. Any size will work as long as it's a square. So we're going to start by folding it in half and I'm using a double-sided cardstock you need either a double-sided cardstock, double-sided paper, or even a solid color paper. But don't make it white on one side because both sides are going to show. So then we're going to fold the edge towards the center and the other edge towards the center as well. And I always like to use a bone folder to burnish my folds, make them very crisp. And then open everything and do the same thing on the other side. That means fold it in half, open it, and then fold one edge towards the center, and then the other edge towards the center as well. And then you'll basically get 16 little squares with all the fold lines that you've created. Now let's fold it back in half and then we're going to use our scissors to cut out the center of our paper. That means we're cutting off four of the little squares. And it's best to do it while the paper is folded. It's much easier this way and more accurate. So we don't need this piece. Now we're going to apply glue. I like to use double-sided tape and not liquid glue that might run and stick parts of the papers that we don't want. So the best thing is to use double-sided tape. We're going to apply the tape to the top left square. And I'm using two pieces to make sure that it will glue properly. And of course, you, of course you need to use a flat double-sided tape. No foam tape or something like that. And also apply glue to the right bottom square as well. So we're starting by applying the glue to these two squares. And then we have to remove the backing, which can sometimes be really annoying, especially if you have nails like me. So just remove the backing. And then we're going to take our paper and fold it the edge towards the center and the other edge towards the center like this. This is the first step. Just burnish well, make sure that the paper is glued properly. Next we're going to apply the glue to the right top square after of course we have folded the paper. And then we're also going to put some glue on the bottom left square. Make sure that you put the square within the fold lines because we don't want the glue to stick parts of the paper that we don't want. Otherwise, the movement of the card will not work. That's why we made all those little squares in the beginning so we'll know exactly where to put the glue and that the card will work perfectly. So remove the backing from the double-sided tape and then we're going to fold the edge like we did before only this time the other direction. We're going to fold the edge towards the center and the other edge towards the center as well. burnish well. And then we have to start working the card. In the beginning it doesn't work as well, 
but we're going to have to do it a few times to teach the paper where it needs to go. So you just flip the paper and open the card each time in a different direction like this. And keep doing that until it works properly and you're happy with the movement. The next step is of course optional, you don't have to do it, but it looks really cool if you add shapes on the card. It adds more interest and it looks much more fun this way. So I've cut some papers from pattern paper, uh, some butterflies, sorry, from pattern paper. You can use whatever shape you have as long as it's flat. Don't use chipboard or something like that flat shapes. You can cut a heart. You can even cut words. Whatever circles, faces, whatever shapes you want to do, whatever the card is for. If it's a birthday, you can put candles or a cake. If it's an anniversary, you can put hearts. If it's Christmas, you can put Christmas trees and so on. So basically you cut the shape in half according to where it's supposed to go. For example, this butterfly is horizontal. It's going to go where the card has an, an, a horizontal opening. So you cut the butterfly in half horizontally and you glue both sides of the paper, both sides of the butterfly, sorry, to the paper. Next, you fold it to its next position and this opening in the card is vertical. So you need to cut the butterfly in half vertically and attach both sides of the butterfly to the card. Make sure when you attach the shapes that you still allow the card to work and move and not glue it on the opening. Because if you by mistake put some glue on the opening and then the card is not able to move, then you've ruined your entire card and you don't want that. So make sure you apply the glue, just a little bit of glue, and then attach both sides of the shape on both sides of the card. Oops. Always a good idea to let it dry a little bit before you move on to the next step. You have four different sides on this card. So this is the third opening and this one is horizontal so you need to take a butterfly or whatever shape you picked and cut it horizontally and attach it on both sides of the opening on the top and on the bottom. And of course you can add stickers, letters, you can handwrite on your card it's a really fun and cool card and like I said any size of square paper will work so if you want to make a bigger card simply use a larger square if you want a smaller card use a smaller square it all depends on the size of the paper that you're using so now I have another little butterfly I want to add so it won't be so boring the butterflies are kind of small so they don't cover the entire card. And the last opening is a vertical one, just making sure. So this butterfly is going to be cut vertically into two halves. And I'm going to attach it on both sides of the opening of the card. You might have done never-ending cards before and that technique is also kind of easy but this one is much easier and much faster to do a never-ending card. It always stays in a square shape. The other technique for never-ending cards is sometimes the paper doesn't look like a square. I'm going to put a link for you to see another never-ending card that I did so you can compare the two techniques and see which one you like better. So I'm adding a few more butterflies to my card just to make it a little bit happier and full. 
and now let's work it and see how it looks just going to bring the camera a little bit closer so you can see it up close if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the little bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video so the more subscribers I have the more videos I can share with you so please hit that button and subscribe to my channel I want to thank you very much for joining me and let me know if you like this card or not I will see you all next time